True. How does that work? Yes, absolutely. Digiscoping works. Um, and just like binoculars, there's a whole range of uh, scopes as far as quality. Certainly the high-end uh, scopes deliver a far better picture as far as quality, the resolution, clarity, and brightness. And if you're going to be doing digiscoping, then I would get the best quality you possibly could. And they have really nice camera, digital camera adapters for taking pictures through them. Um, oftentimes people are kind of torn. The customer will come in and say, I want a pair of binoculars or a scope. I'm not sure which one I want. Uh, if they're only going to buy one, I push binoculars because they're more versatile. Um, certainly, you know, you see a bird and you're on it in half a second with a binocular. It's very versatile. It's portable, it's lightweight, it's small, you don't need a tripod. It doesn't take time to fiddle with it to get set up on the bird. And so, um, depending on their needs, now if they already have a really nice pair of binoculars and they're ready to step up and now get a scope, that's great. Because you're going to probably sell a tripod as well as a scope and maybe a digital camera adapter. So, I mean, there's ways to uh, accessorize that sale, add to that sale. Um, but the same principles that apply to binoculars pretty much apply to scopes as far as quality. Uh, you know, the quality of the lens coatings, the quality of the glass, the density of the glass, the quality of the prisms are all very, very important. I only carry like three models of scopes. I don't carry any Swarovski scopes just because I can't afford to tie up that much money in inventory. Uh, we have had a few sales, and we just do that on an as order you know, basis. Somebody comes in, so I want to order a scope, we order it, we pick it up, it's gone. But I do keep several uh, Vortex scopes right on the sales floor, on tripods, ready to be used by customers. And you know, we don't sell nearly as many, but they're not nearly as versatile. So that's what I would expect. Yes? We do have a website. Very rarely do we get an online binocular order, probably just because we don't rank high enough in the search engines for people to find us if they're looking for binoculars. I'd love to sell more online, but we just don't. That's reality. We have them down on there. Do you approach things differently with size or price or whatever if somebody comes in looking for optics for a child? We don't get a lot of requests for that, um, but it, it is a different consideration because if, if they're trying to buy binoculars for children, the key ingredient is that interpupillary distance. Those binoculars have to be able to crimp close enough that they can get that exit pupil to line up with their pupils. And that's challenging with most Vortex binoculars unless you go with the smaller models. And I personally don't carry them. That's just a personal choice just because I'm in a retirement community with very few children. We have very few children in our store. But uh, if you're trying to cater to children, Vortex has some really good small binoculars. And I would approach it completely differently because it's got to fit their facial structure. That's important. There's no sense having a binocular if it doesn't line up with both eyes. I'm sorry, we're going to have to wrap this. Wow, that was fast. No, Seamus from Vortex is there. I do have a sample lens pen. I think we have enough for everybody. If I don't, I apologize. But if you'd like a lens pen, uh, we've got three boxes of lens pens up here, which is a great additional buy when, when you're selling a pair of binoculars. So, thank you very much.